Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will generate a code for a ADC using STM32CubeMX for a STM32F4 discovery board. Uh, this board have a three ADC, ADC 1, 2 and 3 and uh, these ADC have a multiple channels and uh, each ADC have a 12 bit resolution and uh, into the 12 bit resolution it takes a 15 clock cycle to convert a single value. Okay, so let's uh, first select uh, our board. It is a discovery board and MCU series is F4 series and the final is 407 and here you can see the details uh, of the board. It has a two push button. One is the user and uh, reset. It has a audio DAC integrated with the class, uh, integrated with the class D speaker driver and it has 8 LEDs but only 4 LEDs are available to the users which user can control orange, green, red and uh, blue LED it has a USB OTG okay, and extension headers and uh, discovery board form factors ok click on ok then it will show a new window here you can see uh, some of pins has been already initialized to some uh, some of the pins has been already initialized to the some functions here you can see 12 13 14 15 has been initialized for the LED and uh, PA0 PC0 is power switch on ok and PE1 and P 0 initialized for the MEMS accelerometer so these pins has been already initialized but we do not need all these pins together so we just clear out all these pins in this code only we need a ADC pins before ADC we need to set the RCC here set it external crystal oscillator and into the system for debugging purpose let's set serial wire debugging and into the ADC let's select a channel 0 of ADC1 which is multiplexed with the PA0 earlier we have seen this PA0 was also multiplexed with the push button and uh, if we want to see some alternate functions which is corresponding to the P0 so we need to uh, press the control button and click on this PA0 ok so there is no alternate which can uh, there is no alternate function for a PA0 ok so now let's come to the clock configuration settings here we need to set it 168 megahertz press the enter it will set automatically other parameters and come to the configuration here into the GPIO ADC has been selected ok so no need to change anything here into the RCC let's select a global RCC interrupt ok so into the ADC we need to set some setting into the parameter settings discontinuous mode conversions enable it so at one time it will only convert a single uh, conversion and then it will start so the every time we need to start our ADC then pole for conversion then we will read the ADC value and uh, resolution of ADC is 12 bit here ok so and here into the rank you can see sampling time is 3 cycles and the 12 bit will take a 12 clock cycle so it will uh, make a 12 plus 3 that will create a 15 clock cycle ADC conversion ok click on ok then click on generate code here we need to uh, give a project name let's give it ADC and select tool chain IDE and into the code generation copy only the necessary files and then click on OK it will generate a code and then we will open project into the KL Microvision and I have already KL Microvision 5 if you do not have please install it download it from KL.com and uh, into the application user files we have uh, three files here uh, interrupt file HAL MSP and main so we need to change some code into main only ok now before that we need to define a private variable user variable let's make it uint 16 that is uh, let's make it adc value equal to 0 ok and let's come to the into the while loop and uh, we need to call adc functions so if we don't if you don't know adc functions you can see here these functions are available which we can use in this project 
so first of all that we need to start our ADC and that is uh, here how ADC start okay so HAL HAL ADC start and it is um, ADC1 we need to pass the address of ADC1 okay and then uh, we will pull for conversion so hall uh, ADC pull for conversion and here we need to give the address for uh, handle ADC1 and let's give some time delay sorry uh, let's give some time out and it is 100 millisecond okay it is Paul for conversion so it must be capital F and now we need to read ADC value into the ADC value register so it is ADC value and then all ADC uh, read sorry ADC get value here you can see ADC get value so ADC get value of uh, ADC1 handle ok and let's give some delay uh, let's uh, give a uh, hundred or let's uh, 300 uh, millisecond ok this is all what we wanted to write just compile it then we will debug this code since ADC value we cannot see directly on the board so that we have to enter into the debug mode the debug mode is a mode in which we can see uh, in which we can see uh, processor values register values sorry register values into the processor and when we can execute uh, instructions line by line so you can enter into the debug mode by clicking on this button then we have to put a, a breakpoint here let's say somewhere put a breakpoint breakpoint means if I press this button it will uh, this code will execute until this code execution comes at this point means uh, program counter comes at this address ok let's click here and this is dassembly pro code and this is C code so here ADC has been initialized we can see this ADC value into uh, watch window so either we can right click here and uh, then we can add ADC value to watch one ok so initially ADC value is 0 and it is defined into the hexadecimal and either we can see is into decimal value if I again press a run button then I can you can see here ADC value has been changed ok fine so you can see here ADC PA0 has been uh, changing here and uh, if I press if I touch PA0 with my hand you can see there uh, it is giving some floating value means a random value ok I am touching with my hand PA0 that's why it is giving a little bit more value thanks for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for next tutorial